Hey there YouTube community this is Clay of Clay's Chevy's and today is uh, Sunday uh, May 3rd I believe it is and uh, I was at a, our union convention in uh, Olympia Washington uh, Thursday Friday Saturday and early this morning I left and I went to uh, the 26th annual model car Sunday uh, put on by the Puget Sound Auto Modelers Association. They're members of the IPMS. And uh, I like to go there every year to pick up some deals. And uh, I want to show you what I got to this today. And I thought I got some really good deals. So first of all, I got this old Revell 55 Chevy Coupe. And uh, it's one of those uh, like street rod versions. You can tell there's no chrome on here and whatnot. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I want to want to build like a dragster or something out of it and I've got three or four of these 55 Chevys but uh, not like this I, I've I started to strip the chrome off of one of them and this kit is actually still new inside still wrapped in plastic so it, it's really neat and uh, it's all there and I got it for five bucks can't beat that with a stick so next and these are mostly all came from the same vendor because this husband and wife team they had hundreds of car models and they were all priced really good and and this is a old AMT kit it's a 50, 57 Chevy uh, Cameo and uh, again it's all new inside I got this one for five bucks it's Mark 7 I got it for five And because I was buying so much from them, I saw this 55 <laughs> Cameo pickup. And again, all new inside. I believe this one was too. See, it's still in the plastic. So it's unbelievable. These are new kits. You know, nobody's really molested them. I, I don't know where they got these collections from. Five bucks. Can't beat that with a stick. From the same vendor, I got this old Lindbergh kit. I've already got a couple of their 120th scale trucks. I got like a, a couple of Toyota pickups because that's what I have. And uh, I said, well, the price is right. Looked all new inside again. Five bucks. Can't go wrong. Same vendor, 69 hertz soles. Again, all new inside. Five bucks. So Ravel, an old Ravel kit. I mean, it's got the bigger box, but it's it's a you know, uh, 125th scale. It's 59 Chevy Impala, and you can see it still has the plastic on it. And I got this one for a whole seven dollars. Then I one of the there was a young lady there who was selling some kits, and uh, I bought a bunch of airplanes from her last weekend at the Seattle IPMS show, and she remembered me, so she had this. Now I've got the uh, customized. Uh, 99 Chevy Silverado in my stash. You know, it's lowered and everything. It's a, it's a, a red pickup on the front and it's got these wild graphics on it, but it's lowered. And uh, I like pickups because uh, I'm using them as tow vehicles, or I plan to use them as tow vehicles for my trailers and stuff for my rods. And uh, this one she had for 20 bucks, but because I bought so much stuff from her last weekend, she gave it to me for 15 and I have not seen this one. This is like a rare truck. I have not seen it on eBay. So I don't know why, you know, why it's so hard to get this one, but you can get the red one all day long. And it, and I compared this one to the red one. She had the red one too. And the piece count, there's only one more piece in this one than there is the red one. And they're the exact same pickup, except the red one's lowered and it has customized graphics. So I don't know what the difference is. I thought it was a good deal. So I bought it. Then, I was one of the first people in the door. They opened at 9. I was there like at 8.45 and they let me in. And they already had vendors set up. So, as I walked in and I turned, this guy had this. 
and I've been looking for one of these forever. And there was one on eBay. It's been on there for probably the last four or five months. And that person wants $35 for it. And it's something like $12 or $14 shipping. You know, so we're talking like $51, $52, or something like that. Um, so I saw this. But what caught my eye was the price tag. $10. Bucks. And it, it's not been opened. I opened it to check it, everything. It was there, and it's there. 10 bucks and to me I scored big time then I'm building those uh, uh, Impalas uh, for my friend Lou and uh, I was gonna paint you know do like classic plastic does and get a red gel pen and paint the red stripes on it but there's a guy selling these and they have the red stripes on it and I got enough for two cars it says 1695. He sold it to me for 15 bucks. I thought it was a great deal. I snagged it. Now the same guy who owns a, a hobby shop in Seattle, he had a box full of grab bag stuff. I got this whole bag of miscellaneous crap in there for twenty dollars. Uh, he was telling me the story that he bought the whole big box for a hundred bucks uh, from this guy. And so, you know, he's making money on this. But I saw at least 155 Chevy that I was interested in and this, this panel wagon. So, you know, Purple Pond, here we come. And I don't know what else is in there. But I'm going to open up this bag and I'll lay some of the stuff out and I'll show you all. Okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay. So, in the bottom of the bag, as you can see, there's a whole crap load of tires. A uh, bunch of dashes, um, tail light inserts, <laughs> gas tanks. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I don't know, not sure what they all go to, and whoever bagged them probably wasn't sure either. You know, he told me he just had a big box of stuff and started dividing them. So uh, I got a handful of wheels. You know. But there's not any that match, so. But that's no big deal because a lot of times in a lot of these kits, they give you multiple wheels. They just don't give you any tires to put on them. So that works out pretty good. This is a door for the 55. And I'll show you in a minute. You can see I got all kinds of tires and wheels, so that's good. So some of the bodies, uh, this is a looks like a newer Mustang, and it's complete. It's a complete car. So time for the Purple Pond. Take it all down, clean it up. Oh, it even has an engine in there. If I can get the hood open, which I don't think I can. But there's an engine in there. And it's missing in the water pump and all that good stuff. But uh, underneath looks like it's all there. Mufflers, rear end, everything. The interior looks like it's all there. Inside, so let's see how that works. Uh, this looks like an old T-Bird convertible, I guess, you know, by the taillights, but it's been all hacked up, but, you know, you can always use the body for something, you know, uh, a zombie killer, something, I'll figure something out. Some kind of funny car, um, uh, with these kind of designs, it's hard to tell what it, what it was, you know, um, might be a Camaro, might be a Mustang, who knows, but... I'll figure out something with that. This looks like a Mustang Mach 1. I'm not sure. But it's also a funny car. But I think this is from like the early 70s where the, I'm sorry, where the body of the funny car actually looked like the car itself. So it's a little dirty. Might be able to pop the glass out without breaking it and then take it apart. Maybe I can do something with it. I'm not sure. Saw the panel. Um, it's got a pan inside of it. It's got the steering wheel inside and the dash. Not sure if I'll be able to take it apart, but I think I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, just came part of my hand, so purple pond it. Painted a nice color. Might be able to do something with it. 
looks like a 70 somewhere on there CUDA body uh, a pillar is missing they hacked up the front but I might be able to do something with that don't know there's looks like another Mach 1 Mustang I think paint job is really terrible on it but strip that down you can see where we got too close with the spurt rattle can and just orange peel big time this body's still in the plastic it's a newer car I'm not sure what it is it says a 2003 Monte Carlo so I wonder if it's one of them stock car kits could be I don't know this says it's a Chevy Cavalier and they put the whole kit together you know and didn't paint nothing uh, and I guess somebody started to take it apart because you can see where the rear end was there and they busted it off. So, but the interior is all there. So, we'll see. 55 Chevy. See a big crack in the paint. It's got the undercarriage. And I don't know what the heck they did there. <laughs> but I'm going to try to fix that. So, we'll purple pond it. See what happens. Uh, got one of the doors. I guess they tried uh, cutting the doors open. This has a dash in it too, so. Don't know what they did, but let me try to fix that. We might be able to salvage it. This is a 60, I want to say 67 Nova. Because the 66, I think, has an angle on the front fender. It's one of those SS kits. I have two or three of these new. So I might be able to use the body for something, you know, so we'll strip it down. Might even use it just for practicing painting. Here's a Nova, and I got a bunch of these kits. So this is not too bad. Might be able to pop the glass out and save it. The glass looks really good. I like the way they smoked it. But uh, I need some work on the body and the paint and stuff. I have no idea what this is. Somebody broke the window. Somebody broke the window frame on it, or the windshield frame. So, don't know what I'll do with this one. Yeah, I'll figure something. But it's good to have all this styrene. So this one has a frame on it. I can't tell what it's from. A tranny. Mount's broken. Somebody pulled the engine tranny out of it. Broke all the wheels off. Also has the interior pan. This is a nice looking interior pan. Part of it. And I think it might go with this. Nope, doesn't. So, don't know what it goes with. This is a nice interior pan. This is a nice, uh, Part of a chassis in the interior pan. Nice detail on it. Uh, monogram models copyright reserve, but it doesn't say what it is. It's hard to tell. You can clean that up. Probably use it for something else. This is probably a snap kit or something, because I, I bet you that's where the screws go in these holes here. And you notice how the, the rear end is just like molded in with the exhaust, you know. This kit looks familiar. I don't know why. Corvette hood. Looks like the frame for like a Model A or something. Might be able to salvage it and do something with it. Yeah, it looks like inter interior door panels, but it looks like uh, for a newer version type car. So, don't know what for. Another chassis. Again, they ripped out the rear end and stuff. Uh, I don't see no trademark or anything on it. Oh, here it is. 
Fun Dimensions. So this is one of those old ones. And General Mills owned it. I think Fun Dimensions got bought out by a General Mills sold them to Revell or somebody. It's one of those old companies. This one's got a tubbed rear end in it. So. Might be from that uh, Pro Street Nova kit. Don't know. I haven't seen too many tubbed rear end kits. But this is it's pretty nice. You know, it's still clean. There we go. There's a snap kit. You can tell I got the screw holes. Uh, it just says made in China. Trademark GM. So some kind of GM snap kit. Can't tell what for. Probably a vet. I think that's the way the exhaust and the rear tires are. Or the spare tire. This frame's a little busted up. Don't know what it's from. It's kind of a small frame too. And then this looks like a curbside engine where you can see the tranny and the oil pan and the oil filter and that's about it of the engine. And that's probably where the wheels, the, uh, the bar for the wheels goes right through there. Yeah, here's the fan belt with the alternator. So that's pretty good for 20 bucks. Not a bad haul. So, I'm going to try to put this in a bigger box so I can see what I got, and maybe I'll start dumping some of it in a purple pond. So that was my haul for today. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, subscribe and comment. See you guys later.